In this video, I'm going to share a few secrets that will keep Ford delivering on their S650 as well as other next-gen platforms. Here we go. Let's start off with semiconductor chips, the bane of our existence. Unless you're truly living off the grid, their shortage has affected your life, causing delays in everything from auto manufacturing to computer components to antifungal creams. <clears throat> Not that I would know that but the chip shortage has left the world all hemmed up for over a year now. But not to worry, facing even worse car shortages in a bleak future, Ford has stepped up and said, hold my beer. Firstly, a quick summary in case you were not 100% clear. No, the chip shortage is not related to Doritos. If it were, trust me, I wouldn't be sitting here right now talking to you. I'd be sobbing in a puddle of my own urine in a dark corner somewhere. <laughs> And no, we don't endorse products here at Rated R Cars, okay? We're a bit more progressive than that. Down with capitalism, okay? Down with the patriarchy, yada yada. You will not find any commercialism here. Mm. By the way, you can buy these on my Amazon storefront. Link in the description below. We're having a Christmas sale, okay? Now is the time to buy presents for your young ones. And nothing says I love you more than Doritos. Oh. 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 So semiconductors are basically the brains of modern electronics. And as everything becomes computerized, ridiculous, I know. Hey, did you know that you can scan the barcode on these Doritos, which are delicious by the way, and get extra XP in Call of Duty Warzone? Anyway, now that you have computers telling you when to wake up, how many steps you should take per day, and in general, your phone telling you how you should live your life. I mean, seriously, I have to wait 12 months for my Mustang GT because you need your watch to tell you when to take a dump? <laughs> Stop being selfish, people. I need my Mach-E to parallel park for me. It's a way of life. Uh... Anyway, you catch my meaning. More semiconductors and trinkets, plus more trinkets and cars, equals tens of thousands of cars sitting on lots collecting dust. Semiconductors are difficult to make, and the factories that make them are expensive and even more difficult to make. Because unlike Biden's underwear, they have to be super clean. <laughs> oh, lighten up. We make fun of everyone here. Most of all, myself. Twerk it, twerk it, twerk it, twerk it, twerk it. Yay, yay. Y'all know Earl be twerking, boy. Yay. Like seriously, do you see any self-esteem here? <laughs> Can't we all just get along and have fun and talk about cars and bikes? I love you guys, even the Biden voters. <laughs> no! Don't get all cancel-y on me. Anyway, you gotta wear suits and respirators and all that kind of crap to be able to make semiconductors. Now Ford has been thinking outside the box on this and they have come up with a solution. Why not make our own semiconductor chips? Ford is taking the do-it-yourself approach in addressing the chip shortage, which has left tens of thousands of cars unshipped to dealers. The car maker announced a partnership yesterday with the semiconductor manufacturer Global Foundries to develop its own chips. Smart move, Ford. Smart. Nerds! Initially, these will only be designed for Ford vehicles, but the company said that the goal is to expand U.S. chip production in general. Also smart, Ford. Nerds! Because personally, I think with EVs taking over everything, Ford is going to have to look elsewhere because service revenue is going to be scarce. Case in point, my Mach-E requires zero oil changes, zero service, zero maintenance, and zero zero. You just unplug it and drive. The future is sad for our service departments where most of the money is made. Yes, they make a couple of bucks here and there on selling a car, but most of their revenue comes from the service department. Similar to Amazon versus brick and mortar, which has suffered heavy casualties, you have to be able to adapt to survive. And Ford is doing just that. Kudos to you, Ford. You done good. Jim Farley, Ford CEO, said that the auto industry in the US in general needs greater independence to develop new technologies, and that requires control over chip production. As you can see here, in 1990, more than one third of all semiconductors were made in the US, but that share fell to 12% last year, according to the Semiconductor Industry Association, as China's manufacturing has grown exponentially. 
In June, Senate approved a package of $52 billion aimed at developing more chip factories here in the U.S., though that funding has been caught up in partisan battles in the House. Great job, House of Representatives, said no one ever. Anyway, at least we can count on companies to take the lead in solving the problem, with GM also reportedly making moves to improve the situation. GM is working with seven chip suppliers on three new families of microcontrollers that will reduce the number of unique chips by 95% on future vehicles. Basically, these microcontrollers will consolidate a lot of the functions that chips usually handle on their own, bringing it into one single unit. This will not only reduce cost and complexity, but it will improve overall reliability as well as quality. The new microcontrollers will also be built in high volume, as much as 10 million per year. Eventually, we will reach a surplus of chips. In these sad days of not being able to have a touch screen on our toilet paper dispenser, will be long behind us. Behind us? Get it? Behind? <laughs> no! Look, you can accuse me of many things, people, but being mature is not one of them. Sometimes I embarrass myself. This is one of those times. Next up, yet another smart move by Ford. They're going to be getting into the software as a subscription service game, which should keep their monthly revenue flowing. According to Reuters, Ford Motor Company said Tuesday it plans to launch a new subscription software service aimed at small businesses in collaboration with enterprise software company Salesforce.com. The system will digitize paperwork, and believe me, there's still a lot of paperwork out there, and that will help contractors, repair technicians, and other service people to get out of the dark ages for only $39 a month. The software service called Visor will be offered starting next year by the automaker's 4 Pro Commercial Vehicle and Services Unit. That reminds me of when I was putting myself through college, working hard, or was it hardly working? Anyway, I had a job digitizing paperwork, and believe me, there's a lot of paperwork out there from the rest of ancient history. A tedious job for sure, but I'm thankful for any job that God blesses me with. As I said, Ford is out there working hard to build sources of recurring subscription revenue to supplement vehicle sales that can get hurt by economic downturns and other disruptions such as what we've been talking about with the semiconductor industry. If Ford keeps this up, I see them sailing strongly into the future and continuing to bring us our beloved cars and trucks, such as the S650. If you haven't seen my video on the hybrid S650, I suggest you watch it here, or just maybe watch it again, and again, and again. Did I mention I love you guys? Anyway, with these smart moves that Ford is making, I am confident they will continue to deliver. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. As usual, I enjoy dialogue with you guys. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. If you like the video, please hit the like. And always remember the motto, always be kinder than necessary, and I will see you in the next one. How's this for a production value? Y'all know Earl be twerking, boy! No!